Recently, RC and I were invited to take part in the 2014 Northwest Real Estate Summit and Mortgage Expo put on by the Washington Association of Mortgage Professionals. We were asked to be on a panel and talk about the industry and the current real estate market. We were side by side with some pretty cool people, you know, regionals, owners of mortgage companies, veteran realtors, and Don Frohmeyer, the current CEO of NAMP. Now, several hundred people were in attendance and WAMP put on another great event like they always do. Thank you for having us. So what happens when you gather mortgage folks and realtors in one room? What do you think they talk about? Well, if you haven't had your head in the sand in today's market, you know exactly what they talk about the mortgage process in 2014. Now, in my opinion, and it was very apparent that the majority of the room agreed with my opinion, one of the biggest challenges in today's real estate market is the mortgage process itself. Heck, clients fear it, loan officers loathe it, and realtors are forced to play roulette with their customers every time they accept an offer. Is it gonna close? Is it gonna close late? Or will it get denied at the last minute? Now, I'll let you realtors and home buyers in on a little secret. It's not your lender's fault. What? Blasphemy, Ryan. There's so many bad lenders out there right now. It's certainly their fault. Granted, yes, I'll give you that. Not all lenders or loan officers are created equal, but that being said, we have some great people and companies in this industry and their hearts are in the right place. They want to get it right. They want to provide viable lending options to the consumer, but the challenge is following all the new rules, regulations, and guidelines, and finally, the cost to comply with them all. That right there is why your lender shows up late to the closing table or doesn't close at all and that right there is why you see so many lenders merging with other lenders and that right there is why some people almost fear the loan process right now and finally that right there is why profits are so low in this industry right now now there was a recent article written and posted on nationalmortgagenews.com the article is called mortgage process almost designed to scare people away if you read the article you'll see they quoted a few different people but the article opens with comments from Lennar's chief executive Stuart Miller now Lennar and Stuart are very well well respected in our industry. This is a company at the top of their game providing home ownership opportunities all over the nation. So when Stuart and Lennar talk, people should listen. Stuart states, we have not neglected the first time buyer market, but he noted that the first time buyer market has not really come back yet. And he appears to assign much of the blame to the mortgage process. The barriers to getting a mortgage are high, he said during his September 17th webcast. The process of getting a mortgage has become very invasive. It's almost designed to scare people away. Now, even with the current struggles to comply, Lennar and their mortgage company help finance the American dream on a high level, and for the most part, so does the rest of the industry. But he's right. The process can appear to be daunting to prospective buyers, and we all know that this is every mortgage company's biggest challenge right now. Further down in the article, Pauline McGrath, president of Republic State Mortgage in Houston contends, putbacks by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have created fear and uncertainty among lenders, and it's resulted in a dramatic increase in over-documentation. Ha, huh, every lender in America just said amen to that. I guess my point is, and I think I can say this for the industry, we want to comply and we want to promote and encourage increased financial literacy for all home buyers. We want to provide the proper documentation. We collectively want a healthy lending market but the current market is a bit over the top. Mortgage companies are struggling to make a dollar. This promotes big business, which is great, but we should also have balance and foster an industry where the little guy can succeed too. The current environment has loan officers and underwriters at odds due to overregulation, and this gets pushed to the homeowners and creates an environment where financing your dream of owning a home is scary and almost impossible. Not to mention the increased cost to comply gets passed on to the consumer to the tune of almost $2,000 per consumer. Now the good thing is this, I believe the CFPB and other rule makers and regulators want to get it right. We just need to work with them to balance this thing out a little bit and seek to find a healthy compliant industry. Now I know that this is idealistic thinking, but NAM, MBA, NAR, builders, mortgage companies, this is something we need a unified voice on. We don't really need six or seven dissenting voices telling the CFPB what will and won't work. For the betterment of the industry, we need a collective voice. Will lenders and builders and the industry as a whole be okay without this? Yes, I mean, we are now and we're still financing the American dream, but I think we can do it better. I don't know about you guys, but I don't wanna be part of the problem. I wanna be part of the solution. And I believe that what we did at WAMP on a grassroots level is where we start. I believe that spirit trickles up to the influencers in this market, and I believe that we will ultimately get it right. Now, what are your guys' thoughts and ideas on this matter? There's some super smart people that are part of the Ari Source Nation. What do you guys think? Let us know down below and we will see you next week.